Hey you guys, this is Nikki with Nikki Savory Vegan Eats and I am here with episode one to be able to highlight my savory vegan foods. You guys have been sharing your comments with me and said that you want me to start a channel. Well here you guys are, no further ado. So we're gonna go ahead and get it in. So the first dish that I'm gonna make on this, in this first episode is going to be a stuffed acorn squash. So with fall coming up, this is now September, I'm starting to think of like fall dishes that are coming on the way, things that are going to be nice and sweet and warm and savory and just stick to the bones as if, you know, if you're eating meat. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this for you guys. Um, this is going to be like a quick fast forward version, if you will, but I got two lovely acorn squashes right here that I actually got from Walmart. Um, two lovely ones right here. They're now in season just like your spaghetti squash. So you can go to Walmart, your Whole Foods, or even Sprouts, or any other like um, similar um, stores to be able to get these. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you what to look out for when you are picking up squash if you decide to, you know, stuff it like I'm going to do. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you pick out uh, acorn squash that actually is really nice in this color. It has a dark green color. So this is going to indicate that inside the squash is going to actually be bright, okay? And if you happen to see like a hint of orange right here, all of this is indicating is that the squash itself, they're just laying on, you know, the ground, you know, within the patch, so laid on the ground. So that's what that orange, like, you know, little uh, color comes from. There's little specks throughout the squash right here, but this is a nice, um, you know, um, nice squash here that I got. Now, I'm gonna also show you guys how to go about cutting it, okay? But I wanna first just to show you this. I wanna make sure that you wash them off so they've already been washed off. Wash off all the dirt and the debris because you know they've been in gardens, they've been wherever they have, been on the ground. Wash them very nicely and dry them off. And then got your dark white color here. And so then the next step, I'm gonna be like, well, Nikki, how the heck are you gonna actually cut these? I'm gonna show you next how to be able to do that, all right? So next, how to actually cut the acorn squash. All right, so we have a knife here. I'm actually gonna do this on a cutting board, but I wanted to show you two things here. So one, you see here that you have your stem. You have your stem, and surprisingly enough, Walmart already had it like, you know, trimmed down. I think it just probably came from whomever it was sold from, but the stem is already trimmed down. You can trim it down a little bit more if you don't want it to protrude. And the way that you would do that, you can actually do it with, um, garden shears, if you will. They say that you can do it with saw. Uh, for me, that's just doing a little bit too much, but, you know, to each his own. Or you can just use, like, a chef's knife to be able to cut out the stem. I'm going to actually lay it leave the way it is because I kind of like it and it's not protruding out too much right here, okay? And then on the bottom side here, this bottom point, you want to make sure that you actually cut off this surface, too. You want to make sure that you cut this off so that it lays flat. So when I use my cutting board and I take my knife, I'm gonna make sure that it's actually cutting. I'm cutting probably like, maybe like, just not even like a half an inch off right here so it lays flat. So when it does go into the oven after I cut my acorn squash in half, then it will lay flat. All right. So now you see what it looks like on the inside just by me cutting this at the base so that it can actually lay flat. Flat. We want it flat, okay? Woo! So this took some, um, definitely some work, you guys. You see right here? These are my two half of my acorn squashes. So I did actually use some muscles to be able to cut this in half. So what you want to do is you want to use like a chef's knife or whatever the case it is, but you definitely got to put some work into it. So right here, you see it's nice and flat. And on the inside, I have my seeds and then I have also my pulp. So you can use like an ice cream scooper or, you know, this is like actually my miso soup spoon, you know, improvise guys, improvise, you know. <laughs> so you're just going to scoop these out. See this right here? Oh, look at that. You see the pulp actually matches my nails. Oh, y'all like my nails, my lemonade nails. Anyways, okay, focus, Nikki. So anyways, look at that though. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a couple more melons and have yellow nails. So you're just going to simply scoop out. And so you can see it's actually moving right here, okay? And it comes out relatively easy. This is my, now this is my first time cooking with um, 
an acorn squash. Okay, I've had squash before. I've grilled it, you know, with like zucchini. I've had it like in the form of a succotash, like what my grandmother makes. But this right here, you guys, this is my first time, you know? So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it. You guys can see I have like a little spoon right here. A um, little bowl here that I can just put this in. All right, this poke wants to be a little bit stubborn. All right. Okay. And just scooping it all out. All right, all right, all right. Because the whole point of that is we want to leave it open enough so that we can stuff our squash. Okay. All right. Put all that savory goodness in there. Okay, so this is the product right here. This is what it's going to look like. So you can scoop it out as you see fit. Just scoop it a little bit more, make it nice and pretty. But just keep in mind that you're going to be actually um, stuffing it with like whatever you want to even put in it. So I'm just giving them like a little last minute pulp out of it. And then I'm going to season it up and everything else. I'm just going to eat it all. Right? It's not going to kill me. So this is basically what you want. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with this one as well. Alright, so stay tuned. All right, you guys. So now for my stuffing, I added some garden meatless crumbles, added a little taco seasoning, along with some green scallions, diced up some red, orange, and yellow peppers, and sprinkled some parsley. That is my mix pretty much together. And then on top of that, I have some caramelized onions, some mushrooms, with a little organic coconut sugar, and green scallions and some long grain rice mixed together. That's it, you guys. That's it. All right, so now I am basically stuffing the acorn squash. As you can see, they came out nice and pretty with a nice golden brown to them. I am stuffing them with some meatless crumbles. You can use any brand you like. Uh, one of my favorite brands is the Gardein. I use that occasionally. Um, I mixed it with some caramelized uh, mushrooms as well as sauteed onions and I added a little balsamic vinegar as well as some organic coconut sugar so that's why we have this brown color uh, this brown color to uh, the mix then I added some red orange and yellow peppers along the way as well and yes I am touching it because you know if I was cooking for someone else then it would be a different story of course my fingers would not be all over the food but this is for me and my husband and my hands are clean um, I keep them nice Nice and clean all the time um, and so this is going to be the stuffing for the acorn squash and it doesn't matter if it gets a little bit messy here because again this is one of this is going to be my fall dish this is going to be a good savory fall dish and you want to be able to get full off of it as much as possible so stuff it however you see fit okay so pretty it's coming together so nice right here just put a little bit more and then I added some green scallions to it as well and I'm using this aluminum pan this old aluminum pan because I thought it has some aluminum foil or you can use parchment paper parchment paper when you're cooking your um, acorn squash inside the oven um, you can do that as well, but you can seriously improvise based off whatever you have in your kitchen. All right, so that basically looks good. Okay, you guys, so now after mixing the savory ingredients into my acorn squash, I'm adding green scallions for garnishing. You see how the colors are coming together? I love colorful dishes. And on top of that, because we're entering to fall, I want to be able to have a little sweet and savory. So I have my dried cranberries, as well as my candy pecans. And it's just giving the dish a whole nother dynamic, uh, just with your taste buds. And last but not least, uh, just to be able to put a final garnishment on top of this dish, it wouldn't be complete without my parsley. 
I love my parsley, guys. I love parsley. <laughs> so, basically, parsley goes good with everything as far as I'm concerned. And that's my dish. Voila. All right, you guys, and now for the most important segment in this video, the taste test. Let's see how this stuffed acorn squash actually came out. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. I just don't feel like eating it. I don't want to eat it. It's so pretty. You can see like the dry cranberries and the candy pecans and the parsley, the green onions, the sauteed onions and caramelized mushrooms with the long grain rice and herbs and seasonings. All right, I'm about to go in and let's see what we got here. First, let me taste a little of the seasoning. Now again, I've never tasted this dish before in my entire life. And I must have got, I got it right. I got it right with the acorn squash. So let me show you this real quick here. See, I dive right on into it. And it's coming all out. You see the squash hanging at the bottom almost like spaghetti squash. So I didn't cook it too long. I cooked it just right. And it's not mushy. Now I'm about to really see how this tastes. Let's go. Gosh, you guys, I'm not even toying with you. This is amazing. Say what? <laughs> this is so good, you guys. So healthy, so filling with the acorn squash. As you can see, it's coming to get, it's coming out. It is so good, you guys. I'm not lying. Mm. Mm. I would highly recommend you make this dish for the fall. This is definitely a keeper. You guys see this color? You guys talked about the color. You wanted to see how I brought things together. This is how I, you know, bring it together. I feel like I've been blessed to be able to kind of like mentally perceive things in advance and just bring together in my own creative way. So, if you guys like this video, can you please like it, comment, share. Um, let me know what you like about the video. And let me know if you decide to make a stuffed acorn squash. Until then, you guys, I will see you in the next episode of Nikki Sandy Vegan Eats. Talk to you later. Bye.